And tonight, a family is still searching for answers after their loved one's young life was cut short. The 12-year-old boy was shot and killed by a Philadelphia police officer earlier this month. NBC 10's Aaron Baskell is live in Center City. Aaron, for the first time, we are hearing from his grandparents. Yeah, Jim and Jackie, we had a chance to talk to his family tonight. They, of course, are still angry. They are confused about what happened on that night on March 1st. Tonight, they tried celebrating his birthday, but they still had all sorts of questions. No, they didn't have a gun. They knew it was 60 feet away, and you shot my grandson in the back, point three, three feet away. I don't know why. 27 days later, and the anger is still there for the family of Thomas T.J. Sedario. He's the boy who was shot to death by a Philadelphia police officer at the beginning of March. Today would have been his 13th birthday. His family and friends gathered near the spot where he lost his life. My grandson did not have a gun, okay? I want this to end. I want us to my grandson to rest in peace. And I just want to go on. The Philadelphia Police Commissioner says she's fired the officer who shot the boy. Investigators say Sedario shot at four undercover officers inside an unmarked car in South Philly. They say one of the officers chased the boy who had been running away, shooting him in the back and killing him. The family claims TJ did not have a gun when he was shot near 17th and Barbara. Right now, police are not commenting on the investigation. For you guys, what does justice look like? Well, what we want, Justin, I, and, getting cops Justin and getting the cops convicted for what he did. So you hear it right there, the family still wants justice, still searching for some answers. They tell me that since his shooting death, they had been working with a local church. They're starting a program to try and help to get teenagers off the streets and teach them right from wrong. For now, we're live in Center City, Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News. Doing something positive with that effort. Aaron, thank you.